Phil, a 3 1 win at home to Dorking Wanderers. Some great goals scored as well. What are yeah. your thoughts after that? Yeah, one? very pleased. We know how Dorking play the a very open team out of possession, but equally they, they, they carry a threat. And I think the stats show that in terms of the crosses they've got in the box all season. And they can score, but they can see chances. And, um, you know, we looked like we could score a lot of goals today, and we only got three. We possibly should have had more, um, but yeah, it's just another good win for us. And um, I was I was pleased with a lot of the individual performances today. You mentioned those individual performances. Anyone that stood out in particular? Um, well, you know, great for Elliot to get his goal first, first and foremost. Some nice bit of link play on that left hand side, and um, you know, I was really pleased with that. Um, yeah, you know, nice to see Andy Cannon, you know, get another game as well. He, he's uh, come in and we put him in that holding role today to, to try and get, get us a little bit more quality and, and he showed that. So, yeah, all in all, I thought there was um, yeah, some, some solid performances and, and, and we looked, looked a real threat going forward, which is great for us. And speaking about Elliot Lee's goal, it's been a season of great goals, but that one's right up there, wasn't it? Yeah, listen, he's um, um, a, a terrific finisher and... Uh, He's, he's had a period recently where things have been blocked. You know, he had that early in the season and, and he kept going and his goal eventually came. And you always know it will with Elliot because he's such a good technician. So, yeah, obviously pleased for him. Um, but equally, I think all the supporters also appreciate his work for the team, which um, is excellent. Four changes to the starting lineup. So, are you pleased with the lads that came into the team? Yeah, I think, you know, Sam's got his goal and... Um, you know, I thought Ollie needed a break after um, you know uh, ch Tuesday's game, and um, you know Sam's you know took took his goal really well. We're pl pleased with, with, with that, but but equally, you know Ollie's um, you know been outstanding for us. You know, n not just this season but last season as well, and always players a little bit frustrated to, to be not in the team. But it is that squad situation which I've spoke about a lot that we. We've got to find ways to keep find that little bit of spark and that little bit of freshness, and uh, that's what we've done today. And then the fixtures keep coming thick and fast as well, straight into Tuesday night's game. And how did you build heads that? Well, one? first of all, the fixtures come thick and fast, but you know, at the start of the season, everybody knew how many games we we're going to play, and that's what we get paid for playing games. And um, you know, we, we 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 are enjoying it, and the games come. Through. Yeah, yeah, let's keep keep embracing it, and um that's it other teams are playing a lot of games as well you know in the, in the premiership they're playing champions league then they're playing high profile premiership games and it's about mentally and physically preparing yourself when you're away from the ground preparing yourself but also switching off um having a little bit of switch off with your family but coming back in working on the training pitch for the short period of training and and making sure that each game we, we've got a real focus about us today and i felt today that we kind of implemented what we, we set out to do and how we could get goals and chances against Dawkins and, and we've done it really well. Brilliant. Thanks very much, Bill. Thank you.